Welcome back, my little monsters, to the second episode of Stardew Valley. Now, we've already gotten quite far into the first... Uh, uh, oh, we now have access to uh, whatever that was blocking off. Nice. As I was saying, we've already made quite a bit of progress into uh, the game with the first episode already getting us up through four days. We've got quite a bit already stashed away for the end of the season sale drops, which uh, is perfect. At the minute, we've just been starting to clear out this place to call a fucking farm. Even though it's like an absolute dump. Lovely. Oh, hey ho, no time to argue about it. Let's just get back to what we were doing. I was gonna explore up there. I'm just gonna finish chopping down this tree, explore, and then check out the area where that supposed landslide was. Okay, first of all, empty my pockets. Because I don't wanna go exploring with all this shit in there. You go there, you go here. And away we go. That's a pet bowl. For what pet? I do not have one yet. Which nice the fuck out of me. Is there anything? Oh, yep, yeah, we've already got something. See, this game is just quite peaceful, something you can enjoy. Go at your own pace, no need to rush through things, getting ahead of yourself. Just enjoy it. Oh. Yeah, but almost did. Oh, did you check out here now? Nice! Oh. Oh, hello. Hmm. Where? Yeah, if you guys want to pause these, because I'm not going to be reading them out every time, I will let you pause the video so you can read them. Or do little bits like this where I'm just speaking while I've got loaded still. But most of the time I will just ask you to pause it so you can read it so that way you can keep up with what's going on. Oh, what are you giving us? You doing something good? Ow! <laughs> we woke up and chose violence today. Lovely! Thank you. Focus, reduce our inventory space even more. Shit. Oh well. Time to explore. Get some stone. Oh, and we got cobble ore. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's just. Oh. Oh, we got some good stuff. Taste me. Oh, you die, die, slime, go away. Die. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna sacrifice to get that quartz though? Fuck. Uh, come on. Yes, we're gonna eat this. I know I was gonna sell it, but uh. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not really digging down here to find anything over then to like get further down. Okay. Yeah, nope, 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 fuck. Take off. Get angry all you want, you ain't getting shit. Fucking slime ball. Okay, I know what I said, but if I find things like this that I can perfectly well destroy or collect, I will. But things like that where I can't actually come back to collect it is gonna have to be sacrificed. 
badly enough. Okay, I'm gonna keep smacking you all into the point where I can just repeatedly smack you. And you give us what we needed! Thank you, little buddy! Okay, move you there. We got another quartz! Yes! Okay, we'll go an earth crystal just up to set the fuck out of the farm. And now I can grab it. Because I did not feel like getting beat up by a little green blob to get a teeny tiny crystal. Thank you very much. Oh! Quick access! Thank you! We'll take that. Mm. Uh, I'll say hello to you. Let's say hello to you two. <laughs> yep, I've already said hello to Sebastian. We'll leave here. Trash court. No loop all the way back around to the bus stop way because I think now we can actually open access to the community center. So I'm just going to drop these off, have a check. If I can, perfect. Gunther. Okay, I'll save one of each of these. And I'll save both the quartz because I know what you can use those for crafting. You, 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 you. One of you. You can go in there. What are you flashing for? Okay, wait, level 40. Level 40? Oh my god. The hell, my guy. I just want to laugh. Alright, do we have community center unlocked? No. I think we gotta go up to the door first and then do it. Well, hello, don't think we've met yet. Hey. Two fucking tools. I took up two spots in my living inventory. Oh, this is fucking peachy. Don't you just love it when you have a tiny inventory suit and can't do shit about it? Yeah. Lovely. Anyhow, hey that's fine, that's fiddly diddly fine. Anyone here I can talk to? Hello? No, no one up there. Here. Oh, hello. That's one. That's two. That's three. How much are you? Oof. Two G. I do not have that much. I mean, of course I have two G, but not two K G. How many people have we met so far now? 12 out of 28. So I've got 16 left to find and interact with. Fuck me. This is gonna be a fucking long one. <laughs> and I'll do this more. Let's go. No, oh, um, mm, hi. What do you, uh, what do you want, mate? Oh, you're giving us something? Nice. 
Uh, thank you. Ooh, horns. And our parsnips are ready! Nice! Awesome! Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Just collect all of these. Into money test you go. we go after we do some more clearing up here we do some clearing then we do mining come on what the black white comes like but huh This is going easy, easy, lemon squeezy. If I keep missing that, it's gonna take far longer than I should to get this place cleaned up. What, what are you flashing for now, huh? Why are you flashing now? I will check you in a minute. Shut up. What is. Oh, oh god. Okay, we've got. Oh, we're up to 600 bees. Thank you. Furnace, build a coop, reach farming level one, and crop the scarecrow. Oh my god! How does one even go about crafting a goddamn scarecrow anyway? I don't even have the thing! Just get these and go. Take them to uh, the gun this um gunther guy. Yeah, it does say gunther can tell you more, but who in the fuck is he? I think it's the guy who runs the museum. Please though. Okay, so we did have to go to the community center first before we unlocked it. That's fine. Perfectly lovely jubbly. to actually be inside this to trigger the rest of the thing. <sighs> oh god. I've got to stop recording episodes past midnight. Fucking hell. Oh my god, this place is beat to fuck. <gasps> How the fuck did you not see that, my guy? There was a little apple junimo there. The hell? He found a spirit. He's gonna spit a fucking doolally and send us back on our merry way back to the city where we came from. You 
I worry you. You were the one snooping around in my go in my fucking granddad's cottage before I turned up, mate. Fucking trouble. Strange. Uh huh. Oh, we're still here. Okay, we're gonna go inside. Then over. Yep, there's the thing. Still where it should be. See, there's even a little Juno over there. Well, if you guys want to make like a little Junimo language, then go right ahead. Go back to that little part of the video, pause it, and try and make a language out of that gibberish that was on screen for like a good couple of seconds. I want to see what you guys can come up with, see if we can make a little curse language for this channel. Because if we can, that would be amazing. Little monsters getting a curse. Can you, can you, <laughs> My little monster is creating a cursed language just for us. That would be amazing. Ah, so you'll be done there. What the fuck is with the old cowboy sheriff look, my guy? What the hell? Oh, this guy is in the fuck ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Can I skip all this like it is the intro? No, you have to skip it. Oh, that's a pity. Yes, I would like to donate things. Just hurry up, I'm about to go to things you don't know to already. Things are better to do. I got better. I got two things already to donate. Let me donate. Okay? Please? Thank you. Donate. I would again the donate in those. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer. Tree fruits take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. This area directly in the Crops will die as soon as the season ends. Okay. So crops such as kale are meat and feed. Okay. That's uh, pretty, um, pretty common knowledge. We um didn't uh, didn't really need to be told that, but uh, thank you anyway. I guess. I walked into a fucking lamppost. The hell's wrong with me? We got a book. Yeah, always look for little wiggly words because then you can get a syllable, a book. Or something for Gunther. Or seeds. Hmm. You can also stuff this from talking. Ah, no, it's speaking of the wrong stuff. Fuck. You can get all sorts of stuff just from digging up where the worms are because there's bound to be something there that's good, useful, and helpful. Oh, we got three new characters. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, number one. I got number one. Let me talk to you. Wait, how many of that? Oh, but thank you. How many of that now? Seventeen. Nice. I want to do eight hundred and fifty. Cool. I want to do two K for the twenty-four backpack spaces. Awesome. Uh, I've already spoke to you. Wait, two. Oh, I can't tell you what I'm speaking to now. Ah. Uh, Hey, quite a few. Oh boy. Anyone in here? Hello? Oh yes, we've got two people. Awesome. Hi. Don't mind me, but it's gonna run saying hello. You are a rude bastard saying why you're interesting why you're bothering me. Yeah, well fuck you too, mate. Oh, 
my god. Alright guys, I'm just super sorry for the amount of yawning you guys are hearing in this video. It's super late when I'm recording this. And this was recorded right after episode 1. Just try and keep the flow going. So I'm sorry if my yawning is bothering you. I really, really am. I will try not to yawn too much in my videos but I can't guarantee it because really the only chance I get for recording is late at night. Just the joys of living with people who don't like you having fun. Lovely. Uh, uh. Uh, don't you worry. I will one day get a place where I can record it whatever time I want. I don't have to worry about family or being interrupted. I can just record away, get everything all done, ready with schedules. Just have my neat little organized way for my videos. Ain't that just perfect? Oh, how I wish it could be so. But for now, I've just got to deal with this sort of organized chaos. Just recording late at night, getting a schedule posted once I have enough videos, and then just go from there. <sighs> I'm really sorry if my yawning is actually getting annoying, guys. That has been like the fifth time I've yawned in this episode already. <laughs> Yes, you heard that right, I had two. Got a problem with it? No? That's what I thought? My little monsters know what's up? I am the monster energy gremlin! <laughs> I was born to do chaos and nothing but chaos! Freaking monster, freaking energy drinks at past midnight. Not giving two fucks for the consequences. Yeah, I think Stardew Valley is going to be one of my game series that is going to have no indefinite ending. Because there's so much possibility to do for the game. The same can be said with Minecraft really, like, there's just no indefinite way to finish that off. And you're like, yeah, you could just end it with defeating the Ender Dragon, but you could still continue to play the game after that and just make a whole story out of it. Like, a good example would be like the. Is it be like a story mode multiplayer server? Like Dream SMP or other SMPs? Just make your own little story and just play it out for the Minecraft world. I mean, what better way of enjoying a story than making it yourself? Huh? I mean, that's really a good way to play these games like this that have no indefinite ending. Just make a story and play the game as if it were the story. You know, like get a home, get a job, play a peaceful little world, or heck, I know I probably won't be playing PC Minecraft for like that true hardcore survival. But I can try my hardest with doing the equivalent on Bedrock Edition, which is on the Switch. It's like, if I set it to hard mode and everything, and as soon as I die, that's it, the world's getting deleted, then so be it. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. But, uh, yeah, games like this and Minecraft are perfect for just... Having a relaxing playthrough, just playing a story to your heart's content, or 
Get in a multiplayer option. Try and get some friends to join in. Have them be part of the story as well. Make which is kind of similar to what the Dream SMP is, really. You've got a group of friends just making a story together, playing it out. Just having the whole server be a giant role-played story. Which is honestly amazing. Kudos to them for doing such an amazing job. I was going to initially name the animals on my farm after characters for a Tumblr vlog I'm working on. But now I'm unsure. Because, I mean, one, I want to name after Major Shapes and Beats characters. But two, I also kind of want to let you guys, my fans, name animals when I get them. Like, I will only get them once I have a certain setup ready, so that way it's all automated and I don't need to worry about constantly going in and out, in and out to get the animals sorted. But, uh, yeah. What do you think? Do you want them to be named after characters in my blog, or would you rather name the animals yourself, so that way you feel... Like you're actually being in part, like included in the game in a sense. I mean, I do want you guys to enjoy this just as much as I do. Oh, hello. And I think the closest way I can do that is actually having you guys participate in the game to some degree, like naming the animals for one. As well as like animals in the barn. They will just have like breeding turn kept on, but once that comes in eggs, I will let you guys select. I would just like put a random egg in the incubator and just let it brew until it's hatching, and I'll let you guys pick a name. I'll put names down and I'll pick one from the list that I have. Like if there are just like a ton of comments with names on, I'll just put them in a, in a generator and just select the names from there for the animals. Yeah, in every episode, just put down names for animals and as well as, like, what animal you want it on or just a name in general and I'll stick it on an animal when I get it. But the one pet I will be naming is the dog when I finally get it somehow. Somewhere, somewhere. I don't know how. I can't remember how you get the bloody pet. Oh, hey, it's the apple thing again. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, it's gone. You just had to go way back to where it lives. Was that the community center icon? Uh, oh, it was the uh, thingy that was on the floor in the community center. Uh, duh. Fucking bitch, you're so abortive. Okay. And he comes from. He teleports out like a fucking magician, yet comes back in the normal way. Dude, what the hell? We, the Junior are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you're the one uh, one with the forest, you, then you will see the Junior Jar at school. Okay, um. Thank you? Dude, fuck you sniffing crack. <laughs> yes, I know this is a very childlike game, but I I just don't like making jokes like that. It's part of who I am. Baby fur and moss grub, caramel top toad soul, can you smell it? Here, drink uh okay. I don't think I want to because that sounds kinda gross. And she still drinks it anyway. Don't even give me a fucking choice. Well, uh, at least we got some energy out of it. Oh, oh fuck, I'm just gonna pop up green and hazy. And there are leaves! And a tree. Oh, fuck, it gives us drugs. He gave us drugs. We're hallucinating. We're hallucinating because he gave us drugs. Oh, great. 
Well, uh, that's something you didn't expect to see in a Friendly Neighbors Kitty game. Mm. Yeah, get a dragon, get high off your fucking horse. And we've gained the ability to read magic scrolls from getting high off our asses. Awesome. Alright, so that will be all for this episode, folks. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos on this channel. Whether that be Stardew Valley, uh, Paper Mario Origami King, or any other games I am posting. Because currently at the minute, I have got Little Nightmares finished already. And I've got episodes for Origami... <laughs> Paper Mario the Origami King still being posted. As well as episodes for this series as well. So be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for the videos, as well as any future videos that will be uploaded to the channel. Thank you again, good night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!